Okay, I got this 65 inch Sony. See, the model number is a KD65X750H. And what's happening with this TV, as you see, they have a white standby light at the bottom. When I go ahead and power it on, or before I even power it on, it goes to six blinks. Six red blinks. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's an indication of bad backlights. So let's check it out. Shy Town's finest. Okay, as you can see, we only have a few screws. So at the bottom, power cord, and that's it. All right, so we'll take those screws out. We have to disconnect the power cord, and it just you just pull the power cord right out, just like that. And then we have to just pry the back up. Let's drop the bottom. Be a little tricky, but don't get impatient. <laughs> That's it. We just have one backlight plug, one line for the backlights right here. All right, how simple is that, right? So you can see this is a, kind of like an economy TV, but I bet it still has an excellent picture on it when it comes on. The one to the left is the plus. So I'm gonna go here. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Need this working, let's reverse it. Absolutely nothing. So we have an open LED or LED strip. So now we gotta be begin to take this bad baby apart. So first thing, first thing first. Looks like we need to take this off. These two speakers obviously need to come up. We just disconnect the speakers right here at the speaker. Okay, I'm also gonna disconnect it here so there's no current going through it right from the main board also. Pull this up. One for the left, one for the right. First I'm gonna do is disconnect my LDS cable. Let's push those two tabs down on the end where the cable is. I think that's how it does. I think that's how it goes. Comes right out. Okay. And I'll just connect this right here. Just gonna pull the whole cable off. Okay, LVS cable. I'm gonna make sure there's no current going through there when we test fire the TV up. And looks like we get a Wi-Fi module with the antenna right here. Okay. We're just gonna take the antenna off. Just turn it around till we get to that point, that sweet spot. Comes right off, okay. This needs to come off, evidently. Make sure our little pad with our light and also the infrared detector is in there for the smoke control. And then, we're gonna pull this bottom bracket off um, this also has to come off also, it looks like. And voila. And 
off so we have another wire going to our Wi-Fi module. I'll just pull it off from the main board. Looks much easier. Let's pull it out. Voila. And that's our T-Con board underneath. So I'm gonna keep these and all the screws together. Now we need to take off this bracket for our stand. Okay, this guy had it on the wall, so there was no there, were, there was no stand or feed on it. But it's gonna have to come off. See if I already got it marked. Yeah, I was marked so you won't forget to put it back on. We are reassembling the TV. Comes right off. Okay. Do the same thing with the one on the other side. Okay, since we have to pull the screen out, obviously, to get to the LEDs, what we're gonna do is disconnect the driver board from the T-Con board, all right? And these brackets have to come off. You can see our driver boards are underneath these two brackets, and they're number one Phillips. So I'm just gonna unscrew the screws, the three screws on each side up under the bottom. So I'm gonna take those out. Yeah, so I will see once those screws will come out, we are still going to have to remove the outer bezel first. All right, this one looks pretty simple. Just take your prior tool. Turn the TV over, take your prior tool and loosen. I can't see some little clips right here. They look, they, look, they look like little clips that I clip that we have to loosen up for the outer bezel to come off. And then this bottom piece right here, these two brackets covering the driver boards should slide right out. After we do that, so let's flip the TV around, get it under there, get it like a mechanic, and see what the fluck is going on. Keep in mind, I'm gonna, cause I'm gonna flip it on its back, I'm gonna take this off. It's here, standby light and our remote infrared detector circuit comes right off and what I also did is I put some tape on these two wires for the speaker I also have the plug for the main board right here once again so that way if I test fire it up um, those little metal things won't you know go over to the power supply board and we see some smoke right all right because we obviously didn't we won't know where those connectors are at once the board is flipped over. I'm sorry, once the TV is flipped over. All right, so let's just flip this bad baby over. Oh, what was it? Okay, I'm loosening it up already, okay. Get up under the TV and start prying away. And that's kind of like feel what these little clips are. I'm gonna do the top first. Okay, got the corner part done. Let's see.
looks like all we gotta do here is just pull this out we'll start at the end there's some little clips right here just pull over the clips like so and those slide right out okay, this is the one with our Wi-Fi antenna on it that's our antenna and that's the part that goes to the Wi-Fi module okay please do not forget to put those back on because you can forget very easily and then you won't have any support at the bottom of the TV and you may damage something all right that comes right out excellent now I'm gonna look up under there and disconnect my driver boards which should be fairly easy no the Sony and yes it is just got some little some little blue clips okay so all I have to do is just take this this little blue clip right here and see how it's bent over the board right here just go to the top part and just push that back with one finger okay see how that comes down right there and just keep going all the way down right be careful not to touch or pull on these connectors right there push this part up so it comes down here we go that's one side voila all right so those are free and we just tape those to our screen and see these are all the IC chips that are inside of here so to be very careful with these connectors because once they are torn that's it okay and get the other sides of the board loose I'm just gonna tape these to the screen so they won't get snagged as I'm moving it. And this screen should come right out. Hopefully it's not glued. I don't think it is on this TV. My suction cups. Kind of center mask, well not center mask, but center mask on each half, okay? All right, that way we know I got a good grip. I'll we'll push it in a little bit. Lock them. Voila, excellent. So we need to remove our diffuser screens. So, and it looks like the sides come off first. Sure do. And we just wiggle that. Okay, you just want to make sure that you know how this goes on because all of these, there's like a little indentation right here, overlap. All right, and on this side too. And you want to probably want to mark the corners. But I'm pretty sure these side ones are exactly alike. Just the top and bottom one, top and bottom bracket, the top and bottom bracket that are probably different. So, because you want to make sure these are exactly flush when you put the screen back on and then put back on the other bezel because if, if it's one part is sticking up or something like that, if it's crooked or something like that, uh, you're going to crack the screen once you put it on the outer bezel. Oh, okay, just stick it in here like that. For indentations, lift it up. That's it. Okay, do the bottom piece. You can use your fingernails, that's pretty easy. These little tabs right here, clips right off. Okay, let's remove our diffuser screens. I'm gonna grab them all at once. Make sure that you do mark it. We have man mark in green. Right here, mark the corners. That way you know which way they go on and which one is the top one but keep them all together if you need to if you need to put some tape on it so these do not slide apart because if you lay these against the wall or something they're going to slide apart okay especially if it has a floor up underneath if you don't have copper on the floor well, i'm laying man up, up against the couch so we as you can see we have one it's just this one so that's just one. 
Yeah, just one thin diffuser and one thick one, okay? And then you see there's some little tabs that they go into on top. See that? That's for the auto screen. So we know exactly how that goes. All right, we have access to our LEDs now. And this, we don't have to pull anything out from the bottom, which is nice. Wow. Sony uses this real nice, shiny, good material paper, white paper. Okay, I'm gonna put these in front of my um, <laughs> my diffuser screen, because believe it or not, some people, even me, forget to put the paper back on, right? And you definitely not gonna do that because you wanna have a lousy picture. So I do have all the strips, and on this one, you wanna replace all the strips because if you do one about a week or two later, the other one's gonna go out, so. I know about this one for a fact. Um, here are the connectors right here. Okay, that one's good at 36 volts. Come on. I think so. All right, 36 volts. Go to the next one. That one's good, 36 volts. We have one shorted on this one, one's not lighting up. This one here. That can also cause the TV to go, yeah, that one is bad. Yep, it's going back and forth. That's at 60 volts, 70 volts. Okay, that could be our problem right there. That one's good, 36 volts. 36 volts. This bottom one. Um, Thirty-six volts. Alright. So that's our bad one. I'm just gonna change them all. We're going to unplug it, and these are actually two sets of two strips on each line. Or I'm trying to say these are two. So let me just unplug it first, right there. Okay, and because this, let me see, is glued or taped to. Always mark the edges because you want to make sure those are perfectly aligned. Okay, it looks like all these strips are exactly the same ones. We have a right and a left, and they pretty much go. Like that. And they have tape on the back also. And our connector is right there. So that's the new one. So let me pull this off. And 
I want to do is kind of line it up. And also I got a mark right here in the middle because you definitely want to make sure that um, when you put the, you know, put the new strips in there, they're not crooked or anything because otherwise the holes in the paper will not align with the actual LEDs. So I got to mark at both ends. I got to mark in the middle, keep it in there straight. And because this doesn't have any holes or anything in it, so that's kind of crazy, but all right. So what I'm gonna do is actually I'm just gonna do one at a time. I'm gonna do this first one here with the plug on it, okay? I'm gonna peel off this blue paper for the double-sided tape. That way I can keep it aligned up. There's a line right there. Okay, looks pretty good. Pretty even with the other LEDs. all the way up in there. There we go. Line that up. Align the end up with my marker. That's it. Push it down. Plug it back up. Voila. Do the same for one, two, three, four, five, all six rows of strips.
Okay guys, don't forget to plug back in your speakers. Plug it in back to the plug it back into the main board. Plug the speakers back in. Both of them. Don't forget about your foot supports. One on each side. Only goes on one way. Pretty obvious. Four screws on each side. T-Con cover with a Wi-Fi board on it, right? Okay, that only goes on one way. Looks good. Plug my Wi-Fi board back into the main board. I'm gonna go ahead and plug my antenna back. Just put it on there and just kind of press it, turn it and press it until it clicks in. All right. Standby light and our infrared board. Okay, just wanna plug that back in. Snaps right in and it should go right there just like that. Okay guys, that was not bad at all. Another one saved from the alley, all right? And if you guys are uh, in electronics enthusiasts and wanna boost up your troubleshoot skills, make sure you check out the art of troubleshooting and repairing modern televisions. And until then guys, I will see you in the next one. Big Dog, out. <laughs>